Let's see here. Hmm. Um, I want to name it like Lips or something. <laughs> um, or Kissy, Kissy Kicks. No. Mm. Crystal. Let's give it a stripper name. Um, I mean, why do I think so hard about the names so and they're just gonna die? Um, why do I call it Princess? No, 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 not Princess. Um, Afrikaans, but that would just make it weird. Because they would understand. Um. Hmm. Why is this so hard? Need more coffee. Um. Cabbage. No. Mm, something about the hairstyle just makes me think of cabbages. Mm. Princess! Meow. I'm so sorry to hear about your whole studies thing. That really sucks. Meow. On the other hand, I found a cheaper place to study at. Yay! Well, it's like 13,000 Rand cheaper. <laughs> Do you have a name for a smoochum by any chance? Meow. Tune down. Ugh. God damn it, Shine Echo. What do you. Oh my god, what is this? Commonly known as Toontown was a 3D massively multiplayer online role playing game based on a cartoon animal world developed by Disney's virtual reality studio. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Toontown rewritten. I want to leave. <laughs> that just takes me to the Disney website. Oh, so it's got like a bunch of mini games. It looks like it. Just make sure you don't miss the sign up day. Yeah, I know, princess. Um, I have the sheet to fill in. The only thing I need is a certified ID, copy of my ID. So tomorrow I just need to go to the police station with a copy of my ID and my actual ID. Um, do we just call her bitch? Bitchy. Fight pound. Is he gonna fucking? Oh, I have a berry. 
He's gonna beat me. He. C okay. The what the hell? Well, that's that Nuzlocke. Now I fucking start over again. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the? F <laughs> well, that was that's ridiculous. Oh my god! What the fuck? Did you know this would happen? The first fight doesn't count? Yes it does! Or what does it, does it, does it not? Oh my god. That that was that was pretty fucked up. Not gonna lie, like, how, like, how does he just win you on the first fight if you take? Because I beat him the last time when I took Torchic, but this time he's just like, nah. It's pure RNG, so it doesn't count. Okay. Fine. Very well. I'll take Smoochie, Smoochie again. God, I've been burned. How do I win this? Jesus Christ. Okay, so you're telling me that doesn't count, even though I died. Is that... How... No. How do I even heal up the Pokemon? Oh, do, you, do I not? I don't have to find that other- oh, it's a dead man on the ground. Oh no. Don't I have to find that guy now? I don't know when you gotta use the free potion in your PC. God damn it. Oh my god. How hard is this? Why is the Smoochum so weak? No, we're, we're reset. We're resetting. <sighs> I mean, it is a Nuzlocke. Thank you, princess. Thanks for stopping by. Let's just call him Gary. I'm tired. Oh, we have the potion now. Oh, you have to go deliver a package for for Oak. Now I remember.
Okay, we got this. So we're just gonna pound. Oh my god, what the fuck? Okay. So are we just going with that doesn't count? Because fuck, there's like... I think it's at the mart. I have to deliver a package here. Yeah. Speed. No, bad replicate. To the lab. Pokedex, five Pokeballs. Uh, there we go. Good lord, so much talking. Okay, here we go. First Pokemon. Ooh, Ponita. That's not bad at all, I think. Fuck. Yay! Du -du -du. Uh, it's not gonna fit in, isn't it? Damn it! My little pony doesn't fit. Um, we shall call it Roach. From the Witcher. Holy shit. Run away. Dodrio too strong. Fisherman here somewhere. Oh, there he is. A weedle. Oh, he's showing me how to catch Pokemon. Hey, warrior. How are you doing? Yay. I think I'm well. Awesome! Are you well fed? What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? What did we. Wh oh. Long fish. Or it kind of looked like a penis fish, but I'm not gonna. Oh my god, that thing's gonna murder me. Uh, leave me alone. Huh. Oh, that's wonderful, warrior. Well played. Good job. Yee. Oh, there's no. We shall call it a long fish. Mimi. Good night, Shiny Echo. Sleep well. Long fish. Barbo 
watch is sick when it's raining. Oh, I've never had a bar watch, so. Well, maybe on Pokemon Go. I think I have one on Pokemon Go. But I haven't played that game in a year or two. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. Oh yeah, it's Ice versus Flying. Of course. Oh, let me just check what level gym. Oops. Uh, in a few minutes, I have to go. Okay, Warrior, enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. Or see you in a bit. <laughs> Kick butt. Burn. Hey, how are you doing? Hopefully, wonderful. Um. Pokemon fire red. Are they gonna push him? What is heck? What do you mean? Aren't you playing some Noita? Level 16. Okay, so I'm gonna have to level up quite a bit. To have me doing actual. Oh god, for not actual work. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> The horror! The absolute horror! <gasps> that sucks though, like... Meow. I mean, I, I, oh, God damn it. Is it your... I oh, know it's 3 o'clock, it's probably not your lunch break, but... Ooh, I can't wait for Saturday though. Some more D and D fun times. I le I learned a cool new spell at level two that I wanna that I wanna try out. Problem is, I probably have to rewrite my character onto a, an empty character sheet though. Um, to oh my god don't kill me long fish that did fuck all water sport oh god this cat's gonna kill me run away if I sent for the sheet I fucked up I have my character sheet on my laptop Oh, don't worry about it, Fern. <laughs> it's only a name. Like, it's not. Don't worry about the sheet, really. <laughs> we we've forgotten about that. <laughs> well, ain't going. I ain't going anywhere. Oh, did you want to go somewhere, or the warrior, or? Seriously, Fern, don't worry about that sheet, like... <laughs> and you only wrote your name on it anyway, it's like... It, it came with the, um, with the set. It's really not like... Yeah, I, I don't care. It's my set and I don't care, don't worry. And I want to put my worry at ease, oh my god. Whatever makes you happy, Fern, as long as it makes you happy. <laughs> Do what you do. What makes it? What? Yeah. I don't. I don't want you sitting here worrying and being upset or anything. Just. Just. Yeah. You. Let me pay with food or something. Oh my god. Um. No. Don't. Just maybe bring a snack for your own. Um. 
Prince, it's Princess's birthday on Monday. So this D and D on Saturday is pretty much going to be like her, um, her birthday party, but with, like with her friends. So, and she basically just said, uh, bring snacks that she wouldn't like, which is very easy because she's on a diet and she doesn't want to be tempted. I'm gonna get her good snacks anyway. No, you didn't have to get her anything. Um. She, she really loves Boltong, if you just want to get like a little Boltong, packet of Boltong. Like, like she freaks out her Boltong, but I don't know if that's going to piss her off on her diet, but fuck it. <laughs> like, just like the, the, the 30 rand packy of Boltong at Spa or something and she'll be really happy. <laughs> Unless that goes against your veggie ways, then I understand. <laughs> then just meh. Just you being there is a present already. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be another grind. Why? Why do I. I feel like this one is more grinding than emerald. I swear. Ubu is like, it's a, it's basically just a way to be cute, warrior. Like, it's basically just a way of saying that you said like that thing and then you act cute afterwards. Yeah, it's a cute face. Yeah, that that's me. Yeah. Yes, it's the, like a cute anime face, basically. Ubu. Yeah. Oh my god, Warrior, I, um, I did this run again yesterday, or I continued with it again yesterday, and I got to Misty's gym, and I thought I over-leveled my Pokemon, because they were all level 27, and theirs were, like, level 23, and then Misty just completely destroyed me. She, like, killed all everything. <laughs> completely wiped me. <laughs> I was just like, what, what the fuck? Uh, you can see what happens. There's like a little seven minute video on my uh, video history list where I where I try and do Misty's gym Ever have lucid dream? Uh, no, not really like I've had some very clear or vivid dreams very like detailed dreams, but none where I could really control everything that happened within it Lucid dreaming is actually hard. Apparently you can train how to do it somehow, but it's really hard. I don't know. I don't know if the training is an actual thing. I just saw videos that you can apparently train for it, but I I don't know. Yeah. Love in your dream and wake up in empty bed. Oh, fuck, Fern. Okay, that's, that's pretty hectic. Oh my god, that would suck so much. It's like Princess says, Princess would rather have, or you, she would rather have bad dreams and then, or like a nightmare or bad dreams and then wake up to a happy environment than have like a really good dream and then wake up and you're like, fuck, now I'm here. <laughs> what a, where the fuck. Yeah, that would be heartbreaking. <laughs> yeah, like Princess said, she would she would rather like have a bad dream and then wake up and be happy in a re normal happy world than have a very in awesome dream and then wake up to normal reality and be like fuck. <laughs> Lit. 
Lake is pretty cool. Oh shit. How did you just have a lucid dream, warrior? Like, are you asleep? Or did you just wake up? Oh shit, it's out of PP. Oh, you accidentally fell asleep. Is this part of the dream? <laughs> yes. It is all been. It's always. Is this a dream? Always has been. Dun dun dun. It always has been. Lick. Lick is such a random move. Cause like. How the hell would getting licked hurt you? Have you ever dreamed you woke up though? Oh sh <laughs> that that sounds pretty random. Um Maybe once, like where you where you wake up but then you're still actually in the dream. Where it feels like you like wake up in your bed or you dream that you're in your bed but then you you it's cursed and confusing. I can imagine. Fuck. Like I've I've had some very vivid dreams, some s very sexy ones too. But, um, yeah, never. Only now and then. I'll tell you what though. When you go on um, estrogen, estrogen makes you have like some really crazy dreams. It's it's weird. I'm pretty sure um, women have like re really vivid or crazy dreams because of them because of estrogen because when I got on it I had some crazy dreams took my medicine and I had to go oh no I'm sorry about the cold warrior I hope you feel better soon go to 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 tuition I was doing homework and I just slept Oh, oh, the cold medicine will make you sleepy a lot of the time, and I mean you're sick. You need to sleep to to heal, you know. Oh, I'm sorry about the cold. Hope you. I hope you feel better soon. We do love a vivid, sexy dream, indeed. It is, it is sometimes, yeah, waking up from that really sucks though. <laughs> like, fuck. Why couldn't I just keep on dreaming? Uh, yes, confusion is pretty damn good. Does confusion do damage? Yeah, it does f 50 damage, holy shit. Um, deep slumber. I mean... Yeah, no, fuck found. We don't need found if we have confusion. Noise. At six o'clock and was like, the hell, why didn't the guy woke me up? My teacher will murder me. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that, that sucks, warrior. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, what did the tutor or the person that you went to not wake you up? What the fuck? That's not very nice. I mean, isn't his isn't it his job to keep you awake and and like doing your homework or studying? But I mean, it is good that you had some sleep because if you're if you have a cold, you need a. It's sleeping is where most of the healing is done. When the body shuts down and goes into recovery. Almost. 
almost done with leveling up Smoochum for Broxium. Yeah, I'm just gonna get him level six, level 16. I think that's high enough for Broxium. We will see. I do have a water type. Now I just need to level up thingy. I can still catch a Pokemon up here, I think. What's this? Route 2? Yeah, Route 2. I've not caught anything here. Oh, fuck. A Puchiena. I mean, it's good for Psychic to have it for Psychic types. What is Water Sport doing? It's just Mud Slap. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Poop. Like, I remember, I like, the other day, I was actually wishing I caught a fucking Pushiena when I fought a, um, a Psychic Gem. Oh my fuck. I was doing my wrist it and I was like I can fly and was the avatar was it actually T if I just woke me up. Oh no <laughs> Damn Yeah like that that sounds like a very a pretty fuck freaking cool dream though like a really cool dream Oh my word, I could have gotten a shroomish if I was in here. Jeez, like. Okay then, that absorb nearly fucking killed us. We need to level up our, our other Pokemon. Switch of the I know, Brilumis, I've, I've always wanted one, but I never catch a freaking Shroomish. Like, because it's what a grass fighting type. And it looks really cool too, I like the little raptor arms. It looks like some sort of mushroom T-Rex. <laughs> but I never catch one, like I've not been... I guess I've only done like a few Nuzlocks now, or attempted. Does Mudsport do anything? No, it doesn't. So all I have is mud slap. Not very effective. Um It's gonna be hard leveling up that barboach. What does barboach evolve into? I think I remembered some sort of big fish or round fish or something. Uh, I only have one damaging move and it doesn't work on Spiro. For fuck's sakes. Oof. Then it's ma oh Mac Punch, boy, boy, it's like your cut speed were going all the time. Oh, out speed, that's awesome! Holy shit! Like, I never knew how important speed was until I fought um, Misty's gym yesterday, and her stuff just outspeeded me the whole time. It was ridiculous. They always got the move off first. I'm coming just gonna come to a lower level area to level up Barboach a bit. Oh my word, he's got nothing that ha works against flying types. That's that's pretty dumb.
Oh my god, why is this so hard? Oh my word, this Pidgey. Pidgey, please, have Meowsy. Level 3 Pidgey, just like killing all my Pokemon. Of speed when Toph died. Ah, Poor Toph. Toph will, will forever be remembered. I hope um, Barbosh learns like Water Gun. Oh my word, I forgot it's a flying Pokemon. No, uh... oh, don't kill me! Go my frack! Oh! <sighs> My goodness, that, that gave me a little panic there. Because of outspeeding it was sad. Oh. Crobat is supposed to be really fast though, apparently. Like, Crobot's supposed to be really fast. Please learn another attack move, because this ground mudslap does not work on flying types at all. Pidgey, please. Please, Pidgey, stop killing me. Like, I have to pull out my level 16 Pokemon to keep, kill this level 3 Pidgey. <laughs> uh, only 1% speed difference. No, not the Pidgey. Please learn a new move. Nope, not yet. For fuck's sakes. Stay away from me, you fl you or sky rats. Goddamn pigeons. Freaking sky rats. I wish there was like a specific repel, like a repel that only repels certain types of Pokemon. That would be cool. Like if you only want this type of Pokemon, get like, if you don't want to fight a flying type, you get the flying type repel. And then you won't get any flying type for a while. That would be cool.
am right at that. Got some big cold big fangs there. Claw activated my Corvette would be in the battle when I needed him to be. If the quick call had went, I would have won that run. Oh, that sucks. Quick call. Yay, fuck, water gun. Thank you. That finally a, another move. Oh, fern, Fern's at work, warrior. He cannot, they cannot talk the whole time, they're at work. Yeah, <laughs> if the boss catches them, they'll be in danger. Has two laptops open? The keyboard for this one is not currently in front of me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Fern. I mean, I'm also not playing the most, like, you don't have to give this game a lot of attention at the moment. Because it's just grinding. Badly. Oof, I don't know, but I felt like something, something, like, it, I don't know, this game can be relaxing and it can be not relaxing. I was gonna play League of Legends, but I don't know. Then uh, the day kind of tired me out a bit. <laughs> you can get fired. Depends on the the work environment, warrior. Some places are aren't are pretty chilled. As long as the work gets done, basically. Okay, I think I can take Farboach to a slightly higher level place now to just get that last four or five levels. Oh, you're working from home! Oh! Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, we were all worrying for nothing. <laughs> yeah, work from home is chill. It's still work though, but yeah. Wait, I remember getting the macho brace really early in this one. Where do you get the macho brace? Oh, I'm sorry, Fern. Is it like a lot of coding you're doing or... Is it like, uh... Database work, maybe? There's no gym here as far as I remember. Quickcorn gym is always closed. I wonder who the leader is. Hmm. Interesting. 
Oh, annoying bullshit tasks. Uh. Oh, don't fire, don't fly any. Frack. Do not have a good matchup for Shroomish. Oh no, 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 no. <sighs> I set up an SFTP server to connect to a piece of shit app. It's 10 fucking years old, so should it the people and not always. Oh yeah, fuck. Cause yeah, now you have to adapt things to to yeah, so that it convert convert things so that they work on the old app. At least that's what I think. Now if I don't compute, it that works. Yes, yeah, still scared. Oh my god. Do the homework. <laughs> Do your homework, warrior! Oh my goodness! Stupid shroomish. You're so awesome, why did... Why didn't you let me catch you? That's weird, why does water gun do so much damage to a hop up? Hmm. Curious. Oh, damn it, Shroomish. sucks but it yeah you kind of need to do it to like do good in exams because it help you, helps you teach like just go over the work and stuff uh. I'm also gonna have to study at some point this year I'm just trying to set up the course been a hassle though. Oh no, not fucking run. What does Barboach evolve into? I need to go Google that. I see wind. Ooh. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Wish cash. Ah, thank you. The answer from the textbook into the notebook. It is anything. Just need brain. Oh, okay. Just copy, copy paste, <laughs> copy paste, but manual, manual copy paste. Ooh, I see wind. I see wind does some damage. Two more levels for Barboach. Then, he, then he's ready for Rock's gym. 
but fuck, I have like a Ponita that's fucking level 3. Uh, it's gonna take a while. Bleh. Bleh, 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 bleh. Oh shit, I see we missed. Ooh, if that missed and fu if Barboach fucking died there, I would have been sad. Would have been very sad. So far we're at zero deaths, except for that fucking, the fight at the start of the game, which is just bullshit. <laughs> One more level for Barbosh, yay. Long fish. I should have called him Tuna or something. Tuna. Maybe not Tuna. I like Tuna. I actually like Salmon more than Tuna, but... Mm. We actually only recently started eating like a lot of fish. I never used to like fish that much. But like, I've been appreciating like fish and chips lately <laughs> randomly was talking about war times yes we randomly was yeah i'm talking about history history war times indeed i do i do remember it's quite it's pretty it's getting long ago now it's been a week or two the horrible war times and the um the Bagel Titans, yes, Bagel Titans. Many moons ago, when the Bagel Titans roamed the land. Bagel Titans. Yeah, level 16. Okay, who's up next? Oh. Roach isn't really going to be any use in the fucking rock gym, but anyway, or in Misty's gym. Why does fire type feel so weak in this game, in this version? Can it even kill a freaking Rattata? Oh my god, no it can't. What the fuck? my gosh you bought some interesting things indeed yes that was when um yeah sarah was visiting sandy but i think i think sarah's gone home now sadly holy shit why is why is Ponita so weak? Or is Ratata just that strong? Mm, tackle? Nope, tackle does nothing. Quick attack is supposed to be better. Or at least faster. Come on! Ponita, you're. F oh my god, please! Yay! The first time Ponita, like, beat anything. Hmm. 
Meow. Ponita versus Ponita. Oh my word. Is it even gonna lose to its own? There we go. Yeah, hyper. I had a ratata um, or a raticate eventually in my previous attempt of this this um, um, fire red omega, and it was amazing. Hyperfan just one sh like one hit killed everything. Raticate was amazing. Like, and it also learned, like, Bite and freaking, um, what else? Like, yeah, it was, it was so amazing. That's all I can say. Hyperfang was so strong, holy crap. I remember it helped me at the one gym, like. Yeah. Quick attack, quick attack, quick attack. Go, Ponita, go. Oh no, not growl, not growl. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I can't believe, like, Ponita in my head is supposed to be really strong. I guess I only get strong once I learn Ember. Whenever that is. But holy crap, it's been it's the hardest thing to level up at the moment is freaking Punita. Graphic in the Safari Zone? Ooh! Of Ruby and Emerald, yeah, I saw. I've seen them, but um, the one time I went there, the first time to the first Safari Zone, I caught a Pikachu, which was nice. It was my only Electric type, and then the second attempt when I went there after I wiped, I got a Wobbuffet, but it got away. I think it was a Wobbuffet, but while I was walking around after my encounter, I I saw the giraffe. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna hit the weird giraffe with the eye tail. It's a very weird looking giraffe. Unless I'm thinking of some giraffe, giraffe. Yeah. I've seen a giraffe in real life. They're fucking huge. We were on a, um, like a game drive with my parents in our, in our car or our Land Rover once. And the freaking giraffe came and like stepped over our car's bonnet from tentacruel oh my god yeah but um psychic takes oh crap no is it the other way around yeah it's the other way around poison take is supposed to take a lot of damage from psychic so that's really weird or is it the other way around i can't remember now fuck i can't remember if, if psychic is weak to poison or poison is weak to psychic i think yeah, I think poison is weak to psychic. Oh no! Roach has been poisoned! No poison in bad. Okay, we're getting better. Oh my word, he had a berry. Level 8, do you learn em- have you got Ember yet? No, fuck. Learn Ember, Roach! Oh my word, poisoned again. Dangerous. Dangerous. 1 damage. 2 damage. Okay. It's very nerve-wreaking, weak to psychic. Oh, yeah. And, it, and the giraffe still lost, so what the heck. Stupid giraffe rig. 
What the heck? You're supposed to be killing the tentacruel, not like dying. I'm so mad at tentacruels. The one time I had, I had an electric type Pokemon, a Voltorb, I think. And the freaking, um, the tentacruel literally just one shot at the Voltorb. And I don't know how or what, like, because it's a freaking, it's a water versus an electric type as well. And, and Voltorb literally just got one hit hit. Please learn Ember, not yet. Goodness gracious. At least his stats is getting better. Like he's like two hitting things at the moment where it took like a million hits previously. Y Yay, Fern! Kicking butt! Good job! Oh my god. Oof, goading. I, when I worked my five months um, at a, well, at, soft, at a software development company, I mainly just did front end and like a little bit, like a little bit of back end, but it was all like pre-coded. So I pretty much just copy pasted the stuff in. <laughs> Fuck sakes. But yeah, mostly front end things like uh, just web pages that I had to make so nothing fancy well if only I kept on coding like I just couldn't handle the stress because like the starting pay for, for the coding job was like amazing <laughs> Yeah, I mean, fuck, like, if you can just find the right code for what you want, copy-paste, copy-paste all the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wow, Jade, thank you so much for the raid. No, shush you. I have to fix my hairs now. Now I can't just casually, like, sit down in my... God damn it, Jade, all this, getting all this pressure now. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to the stream. We're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke at the moment. Um, so, basically the rules are... Ooh, Ember, finally. The rules are if a Pokemon faints, it dies, basically, and I'm not allowed to use it again. So, if a Pokemon dies, it dies in the run. I have to give every Pokemon I catch a name a nickname so i can get emotionally attached to it and the other rule was oh i'm only allowed to catch one pokemon per new route happened to attempt one um misty literally just destroyed my whole career misty freaking demolished everything that i stand for as a human being <laughs> and i thought i was a higher level than her than her gym and then I get to her and she literally just eradicated, de yeah, decimated me. <laughs> but yeah, so this is attempt two. I, I completely wiped and all my Pokemon died at, yeah, at Misty's gym. It was pretty bad. So it's Pokemon made no longer enjoyable. Um, let's just say, well... What what's Noita then, Jade? If you die, you die, don't you? <laughs> so it's like Pokemon made into a, a roguelike. Misty have the main thing that Misty have that wrecked me was um what is it? It was it's to Toga Pre Toga Toga P Evo Evolution. Yeah, it was this fucking thing. Oh my frack, it just destroyed everything. And then, like, after I finally beat it, it, it she had a Kingdra that was just faster than everything. Don't be smack talking about... I'm not smack talking, I'm just comparing the two a little. 
I, d I know how much people love the Noitas. Like, even Fern, Fern has also been loving the Noita. Maybe one day I'll, I'll give it a try. But I'll probably, I'll fucking die a shitload probably. Yes, Kingdra. Oh my goodness. It was so fast. Like, I could, it, yeah, it always hit first. So yeah, we're back to the drawing board. So far we have a roach, a ponita. She turns Pokemon into a roguelike. Yeah, pretty much. It, it, it adds some risks to the game, basically. It also means you have to grind a lot sometimes, like now. Like I'm trying to get everyone to level 16 to fight Brock. Brock is the first gem. Yes, I think Kingdra is even a fucking... I think it's a... Isn't it also a dragon type? I think it also counts as a fucking dragon type. Yeah, dragon type. What the fuck? Ugh. Which is so random, because why is a seahorse a dragon? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I guess you can use electric moves on it might work but it's it's so strong so it is so long but it feels yesterday <laughs> yeah K kingdra kingdra is ridiculous the absolute size of it look at the absolute size of that dude <laughs> they're human sized hmm why is a rock s sentient who knows it's po pretty much like the amount of random shit like like the later designs um fucking which was one like the balloon like why is a balloon sentient balloon pokemon this pokemon is actually pretty creepy um there it is uh drift loon yeah drift loon so drift loon is actually pretty creepy it's a ghost flying type and in its lore, or in one of the lores, it loves floating around picking and picking up little children and floating away with them. Which is pretty fucked up. They did! Yeah, the, the trash Pokemon. I remember. This thing, Garbodor. <laughs> or Trubbish. It's literally a fucking trash bag. Why? Also, another fucked up Pokemon. There's the Sandcastle Pokemon. Yes, the ice cream one is also ridiculous. Um, Sandcastle Pokemon. Fucking Sandcastle. So, this is also a ghost type. And apparently, to the one lore that Princess told me, it also loves... Um, yeah, it loves uh, luring in children. And, like, eating them or making them disappear. So, that because it itself is the spirit of a child. Trubbish is kind of cute though. I'll, I'll give it that. The level, the, the, um, first, yeah, Trubbish itself, its evolution is not that cute. But yeah, this Sandcastle Pokemon is pretty fucked up. It eats children, apparently. Kingdom and Fold with Ven Vengeance. Oh my god. Warrior, no! Don't don't dedicate your life to vengeance. Tell me about that kidnapped. I know, right, Sally? What the fuck? There was something else that also semi kidnaps children, but I forgot. I just know about Drift Loon and the Sandcastle. Garbador. It's a poison type, which I kind of like, but yeah. Definitely not as cute as Trubbish. The ice cream Pokemon is also kind of fucking random. Like, sometimes I feel like they just ran out of ideas. And then they're just like, yep, this will work. We, just, we need a new Pokemon. Uh, tra Oh, there's a trash bag. Genius. <laughs> Promotion guarantee. Be a really fucked up place to live when you think yes it would be because <laughs> like i've seen some really cool um randomly showed me some really cool pokemon um like shows or videos um 
and they kind of made it really cute where they incorporate like a lot of the Pokemon into the um, like the world like the this this um, little video or movie that was made by uh, Pokemon kids um, basically it was a, a, a girl that went to visit her grandparents and there was a um, a slugma and the slugma is basically like the whole like there's pipes going through the whole house and the slugma is basically like just goes through the pipes and heats heats up the house in uh, while it's like winter and it also like there's a pipe to the the stove and then it's like the stove which is pretty cool like and the the granny was like knitting like shirts and stuff out of silk spun by like the pokemon was just cockfighting for cockfighting for kids you know um let me go get that video quickly um it's on youtube i wonder if i'll get copyright fucking infringement but i guess this well this might go on um on uh kid okay. Like, it is on the Kids TV channel, but it was pretty good. Pokemon Kids TV. But I'm I'm still a kid, meow. Uh, where was it? It was, No, it was on the Japanese one. Japan. The magical monsters love fighting and don't really get hurt. Yeah, they do, they do kind of love, be loving fighting. Where's that video? That one was also pretty cute, the Nidoran one. And that like these little videos. Eh, videos. Jigglypuff one was kinda random. Didn't watch that one. Or did we? Eh. This one was also kinda cute. The like a kid gets sorta of kidnapped by Well not kidnapped. Ah, here it is. Dodo, they tend not to listen to you unless you prove you're the alpha. You can also befriend them. I mean, this is a YouTube video, so I'm guessing I'll be okay. Let's, w let's enjoy it. It's like five minutes. But it's really cute. I love the slow slow poke backpack. Apparently Sally Rose, but apparently you could get into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Slug my nuts. <laughs> EV. Oh shit, you can't hear it? That's not good. Uh, hmm, I mean, it is playing. Hold on, let me. There, that. There we go. Like, I dropped the volume because Pokemon has a lot of random sounds that... So she just wants to be friends with Slugma. But Slugma is like shy.
ない。Oh, thank you, purple. <laughs> Yay! That that yeah puts my my ears. ほら、また探してるの？ Like、今はお庭にいるのかも。お庭？どうしたんだいマグマックはうんさっきまでここにいたんだけどなアンナのこと嫌いかなよく耳を澄ましてごらんマグマグが嬉しいときはボッボと煙を鳴らすんだ嬉しいときはボッボどうだいあっちもお願いね。チェック、で、it's like、use... they're using the Pokemon as central heating and like a freaking like stove. It's not just slavery! さあ、できた<笑>マグマックが手伝ってくれたんだよ。
But I mean, if you make them fight against the rule, technically, or need to go to bed. Oh, good night, Sally. Thanks for dropping by. Sleep well. And good luck tomorrow. Hope you have a lovely morning and day. They do make wild noises. Yeah, that is true. That's also why I've been playing with my earphones off, but frack, frack it. So, yeah, Ponita needs four more levels. So it's basically it's going to be a lot of this for now. But I have my eye on chat if anyone wants to talk about anything random while we grind. Meow. Going to do that, we would live in peace. Aww. Well, I mean, cats and dogs live with us in peace, so that's kind of nice. Dog fighting is like the worst thing that, that fucking in this world, and it should always be stopped immediately and banned. Making doggos fight each other is horrible. But yeah, v VR is going, yeah, going pretty fast. At the rate it's progressing, we'll get like, yeah, we will get very far, very close realness eventually. I would definitely play some VR games, but those the freaking um gear at the moment so expensive holy shit want to buy vr give 500 <laughs> <laughs> how buddhism started didn't it start in um no wait i think you told me it started in india or yeah no i have no idea how buddhism started I know about Buddhism, but yeah, I don't know how it came to be with Buddha. <laughs> That's what they say, yeah. The enlightened. How the story of it started? No, no idea. Isn't isn't Buddha? I know Buddha was a monk. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. Not sure. Like about how he got, yeah. Where he was. Meow. I also do play other games, I'm just saying, like, it, for all of you that are just stopping by, um, I do play a lot of other games, I've just been uh, addicted to Pokemon recently, <laughs> and Teamfight Tactics on League. I do have Yakuza 0, which I really want to try. Was Buddha a prince? Okay, that I did not know. That I didn't know at all. Oh, I think someone followed earlier as well. Thank you so much for the follow. It means a lot. I hope they're still here. My goodness. I kind of like it would have been so cool if you could fast forward the game and not fast forward the sound because I kind of like this little tune really why do I feel like I need to google that warrior is that real? Is that really what his name was or is? Oh, 
this Bonita was such a mission to level up. Oh. Interesting. Then why did why did his name change to Buddha? Or did his name not change? Is Buddha just a different way of saying it, basically? Oh, a pipe move. Double kick. Oh yeah, normal types are weak to fighting types. I really need to get some um, uh, non DMC music that I can, so I can just put the sound off for the game and then, um, yeah, play some background music. But I don't know what website is out there uh, to use. Meow. Why he changed his name? Oh, okay. Wait, we could probably go to the higher level area now. To level up this pony. Or roach. I called it roach after the witcher's horse. Burn, baby, burn. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, it gives us like a little bit more XP. We're almost at level 16. Not that Ponita is going to be any freaking help in the fire in the rock gym up next. Yeah, we nearly need a grass type. We have a water type at least. But I know why he turned into a monk. Do you want to know that? Yeah, sure, warrior. Enlighten us. It's always good to learn, like, hear something new, you know. Learn something new. I mean, I can go Google Buddha quickly as well, and then we can learn all the things. Okay, one more Pokemon to level up. How long have I been... What? It wasn't been long. Only an hour and a half. Okay, well, we got a lot of them to up to 16 in an hour and a half. Oh, this is gonna be another bitch to level up because not one showing them. Boop, 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 boop. Oh no! Don't kill Dogerman. Long fish. Long fish, go! The longest fish in all the lands. Fish in there. Wonder if I should have called it something dirtier. Meow. He 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 he. Ah, oh, fuck. No! Oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna die. My word, stop missing the door, May. Yeah. Meh. That startles 
the whiskers of me. Meow. Ooh, come on, follow notification. It takes so long to pop up on the phone. Oh, meh. Laxa? Laxalex? Thank you so much for the follow, Laxalex. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day and everyone else too. No. Bonk. No, not the poison. God damn it. I don't have any antidote, so we have to rush the Dogerman to the clinic. Hmm. No poisoning. Oh my god, and it's poisoned. Damn you, poison rats! Damn you and your poison ways. Because if a Pokemon dies from poisoning, it yeah counts as fating, so I have to let it go. Oh my word, that Pidgey almost destroyed us. <laughs> you think this was like on a handheld console? It must have been so fun. Just being able to play Pokemons anywhere. I don't think there's the fast forward option on the on the handheld console though, but I guess you would yeah, you wouldn't really care back in that time. People were probably a lot more patient. Because what, this was like in the era of the 56k modem speeds. You, you had to be patient on the internet. So many trips to the clinic, but this Fire Red Omega, like I've actually finished an Emerald Nuzlocke earlier, and this one feels harder. It feels like the the wild Pokemon do way more damage than what they did in Emerald. No, not the poison again. God, stop poisoning me! <laughs> oh, I should just go buy some fucking antidote, shouldn't I? Okay, warrior. That's quite a, 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 a hard to type. I mean, I could have just gone to Google and then Googled it, and then you wouldn't have had to type. Wizardo or Buddha was going around to the city. He saw four sites which probably changed his whole life. He saw a sick man, an old man, a process of funeral, and an ascetic of a guy who is meditating. I think these four sites made Buddha realize that pain, suffering, and death we all part of life. But the peace he saw on the face of the ascetic 
gave him hope, so he decided that he wanted peace, and he became the Buddha. Okay, cool. That's interesting. I never knew. I never knew that about Buddha. Like, I thought he like um, f like found in just found enlightenment through like meditating or whatnot, and then um, eventually like a god or a spirit came to him or something. I didn't know. Like, yeah, that. I'm just gonna say his backstory was that. Which, that's actually, okay, that makes way more sense, I guess, in a way. Okay, great, the Puchena is starting to one-shot things. Thanks for all the effort, warrior. But yeah, so basic, well... I mean, he probably meditated after discovering all that because I mean eventually he's, he base is basically a god, right? Isn't he? Or is he not seen as a god? Is he just seen as like the one that speaks to I don't know? No, probably not. Or it's just an example of um, how to obtain peace. Or okay, go ahead. I'm I'm just gonna be quiet now. May you don't understand it fully. Stop trying to stop mumbling on stream for the love of cheese. Might be talking about Vidas, the god from. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, they really don't teach enough about other religions in our schools over here it's pretty i mean we do have um yeah we do have a big yeah we have a very diverse population with a cra with a lot of different religions here in south africa like a lot like there's like 13 or something spoken languages in south africa <laughs> But the main languages are English and Afrikaans and uh, I think Zulu or Koza. Like th yeah, the nice part is everyone I think tr at least tries to learn English, so you'll always be able to communicate with someone in South Africa if you know English. It's taught at like all the schools as the you know. I don't want to risk the Pucci in uh, while it's poisoned. So he's going to one shot the PG and then scuttle subject minus history. Ooh, I think my one of my favorite subjects was um, home economics <laughs> because I could make food. <laughs> like we would spend classes like cooking like sweets or um, nice food or something. I think that was my favorite like subject because it was so chilled. Such an easy subject, and you get free food. No, not sometimes free food. Yeah, the ingredients would would be provided, or sometimes you'd have to bring your own ingredients. Hey, hey, Hautkunde. Some parts of the free state. Yeah, that's true. Hey, Swisskunde. No, it's hey, hey, Hautkunde. Like hold, hey, Hautkunde. I know, but you were close there. You were pretty close there, Fern. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the points. <laughs> like if I could spell it out. Oh, no, it's fine. I don't need to spell it out. But it's like heist, like you type there, and then H O U D, and then Kunda, K U N D. Yes, Viskunda is maths exactly. You were spot on there. Yes, Viskander's maths. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Another interesting subject I took was um, uh, chemistry. Chemistry was also really interesting. Learning about all the uh, the different elements on the periodic table and how they're um, they re interact with each other and combine and whatnot. Physics was because if you take chemistry in our school, you had to take physics as well. And physics was a bitch because it was also a lot of maths, basically, and learning a lot of math formulas. Like, I don't know. And I, I just, I was okay with maths, but not very good. Because, I don't know, I just, I, I don't know what happened to me. I was very good up until high school, where... Um, I think the teachers or something was just didn't work out. I took math, um, higher level math. Uh, my, like, my granddad, oh my word, he was just like, no way in fuck or you take, he, he didn't even have a say in my education, but when we talked to him, he was just like, no way in fuck are you taking lit, like math lit, you're taking math, like, Fucking the higher level math. <laughs> it's all you're allowed to take. Which was fine. Because if you look at the stuff that you learn in math literature. Math literature was, I don't know. Some of that stuff sounded a bit ridiculous to me. <laughs> or a bit too, I don't know. I'm not gonna bad mouth it. There's a lot of people with math lit that are smarter than me. <laughs> I took lit and got 98%. Holy shit. I think I only got like just over 50 like I just passed my math like the normal math <laughs> yeah you see you took math lit and you're still way smarter than me friend with your fancy engineering job woo woo my only distinction I don't have any distinctions in, in high school. I was 1% away from um, a distinction um, when I did my uh, programming languages. I was at like 79 point something percent for my, for my year of my programming languages. I was pretty pissed, like fucking 1%. But yeah, in high school, high school was pretty rough for me because uh, back then I didn't know that I was uh, at Asperger syndromes syndrome and like being in the classroom with, with like 30 other students basically just tired me out like instantly. Like I was always just lying on my arms, like semi sleeping in class. No, the hardest part while typing the Buddha thing was that everything written in Marathi, the language of the time, my mother language. Oh! Oh my goodness, you had to tra translate everything to English. I think you did a pretty damn good job, warrior. Good job. Oh, um, actually pretty late, pretty r late in life, like, closer, like, in my 20s, basically. Like, I don't want to get too, like, too sexual on stream now, but, yeah, it was, it was, like, in my 20s. Yeah, I was still like, yeah, I, I was too focused on video games growing up and, um, yeah, I, I never had like a girlfriend or anything until I was like a girlfriend or a boyfriend. I had like my first relationship at like when I was like 26, 26 years old. <laughs> 
Like, I never had any relationships before that. Oh, it's nice that you could make sense of it, Fern. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, what are we? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, Warrior, we'll stop talking about it. <laughs> Talk, talking about the uh, girlfriend and boyfriend stuff. Meow. <laughs> oh, not the poison again. Meow. Please don't poison me. Okay. Oh my god. Why? It's a bit gay. <laughs> the great gay. Like the great white shark. But the great gay. I'm probably only going to stream for another 10 minutes. Then I have to get um, dinner going. No, warrior, it's not like that. I think you're... I don't know how old you are, but I think you're still young. So believe me, I also thought I was really ugly growing up. And I was also not the skinniest person. But you... Yeah, eventually when you have more time in your, on your hands and... You'll get there. You first have to love yourself before you can love someone else. But to love yourself, sometimes you have to work on yourself a bit, you know? Like, I only actually start, started liking myself when I was way older. And I actually started working on myself to, like, doing exercises and just being a bit more con confident. So, yeah, no, you'll, you'll get there. Don't worry about it, just... Have fun, you know, just have as much fun as you can without fucking up your future, obviously. You still do school and whatnot. But try and squeeze in as much fun as you can because, yeah, life life is short. Nah, man, like, you'll grow out of it. Like, or just, like, start taking, wa doing walks, you know? Walking is one of the best ways to lose any to lose fat if, or just starting as well Just do like a 30 minutes like as long as you can walk um, Yeah, and it will make it start making a difference Like, I'm not saying, like, it's gonna take a while, though, you know, because when I started doing exercises or whatnot, it took me, like, half a year to a year before um, seeing any big differences. But, I mean, you have to start some, if you start early or start somewhere, especially if you're younger, it will, it burns away quicker because your metabolism is still faster. And if you're, you're a man, um, your metabolism is 23% faster than a woman's. So, yeah. The fat, the fat will, will burn away easier. But like, yeah. Oh, that's awesome, warrior. 
animation is amazing. I like really cool. I never actually knew warrior. That was probably one of the hardest questions for me. I still don't actually know what I want to be. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, but at the moment I'm just doing something to make money. Like I I'm still I'm working like for my dad basically and my and my mom. I've got like three jobs. <laughs> But that was probably the hardest question for me growing up was what do I want to be? Oh. Nepotism baby when I grow up. Wait, what the hell is a nepotism baby? Why do I not what is what does nepotism mean? <laughs> Need me a billionaire pay for my sh Ah! <laughs> You want to be a sugar, a sugar baby. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to be a stay at home mom, you know. I'll, I'll take care of the house and the kids. <laughs> Get stay at home dads too. But animation is awesome, warrior. It's like you make your own, your, your own little world and everything. I know a few people that actually did animation or people that do a lot of art. Are you do are you taking art at school then? Cuz you need a lot uh you need to do a lot of art to get into an animation school. My inspiration is Indian called uh, He is a good. Ah. Inspiration for me, oof. There isn't really anything. Basically survival. Like do what I do what I must to survive. But I do do things that I don't hate doing. Like at the moment I um I do insurance. So we sell insurance and look after clients and help clients and whatnot. And the best part of it is I work from home. So I never like Wanna be like my cat, just eat a nap? Uh, I'm already, I'm already doing th that phone. That's like my, that's what I'm doing at the moment, you know. <laughs> Meow. Although the insurance does keep me busy and a few other stuff. I also really like growing plants. Boop. But I guess my inspiration was my father because our current job, you you have a lot of free time, but you never have vacation. Like at the moment, I'm streaming and whatnot, but I did work today. But like any moment now, a client could email me or phone me and I would have to work out of nowhere. But yeah, it's mainly survival. <laughs> Dealing with insurance, do you know how one would register a new engine to their car? Oh, shit, Fern. Yeah, that, that's a tricky one. You would probably have to go to the municipality, I think, to re-register it. Um, and then basically with that new registered papers, it would have to be registered on your policy new because it's an a entire, with a new engine, it's basically a new car. But I think it's mainly you need the uh, new registration papers from the uh, municipality. And if it's like a random uh, new engine install, you'd probably need uh, a roadworthy certificate as well. That says the, the car is roadworthy. I'm not sure. I don't know, but that might not be for the insurance. Uh, the thing is, Warrior, like where one dream gets crushed, a new dream will be bo is very much born. Like... At one point, my dream was playing games and being sponsored for it, like getting paid to play games. 
And I got pretty far. I was actually sponsored for League of Legends for a while. Uh, but I didn't make enough money. Basically, they didn't pay me. They just gave me free stuff. They didn't pay me a salary. So I just never could make it. Even though I was... Yeah, I, I made it to being sponsored, but I didn't get a salary. So I couldn't survive just playing games. So I had to, like, go and look for some other stuff to do. And that's when you figure out more about yourself and more things that you like. Eh. Uh, like, there's always gonna be pain, but there has to be pain for there to be change, you know? Pain is basically the thing that shows you that you're changing or there's change happening. Like, pain is, isn't good, but it isn't that bad either. <laughs> I'm trying to be philosophical, but I, I'm like the worst at communicating with people because I'm autistic. But anyway. Thanks everyone for hanging out. Like, it was a short stream, but yeah, you know, two hours on the dot. Woof, symmetrical. Thanks a bajillion everyone for hanging out. You're all a meowsing. Um, maybe we can raid someone, you know, return the favor. I don't know. Oh, Fern! Thanks for like your busy schedule, you know, as well. You amazing person, you. Who do I even raid? I don't even know. Um... Oh, will do, Fern. Will do. I have to go put her dinner in the thingy now. That's why I'm leaving. Uh, let's raid that killing house guy. He's playing Yakuza Zero. Oops. And you put raid there. Hope to see you all again soon. Thanks. So good luck with the homework, warrior. Um, yeah. I hope you don't have a lot of homework, too much or anything. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Oh, my word. Oh my god, it's with two, for fuck's sakes, it's with two eyes. Meh. 